Hello, this is Peter Newman. I'm a member on the ANSWER student community and there's a question here to demonstrate simple heat transfer through a pipe wall. It's a, uh, he's asking for a, th this is Colin, 3D copper pipe passing through water maintained at 3 degrees Celsius with air passing through the pipe the air at inlet is 20 degrees and enters at 0.3 meters per second and assume the pipe wall is 3 degrees. So this is a quick example of how to take a fluid flow model, go into, uh, we're going to do an axisymmetric model, so make it 2D, so it's a simpler model, and go into space claim to sketch just the air as a rectangle and let's just make up some numbers let's do a uh, 20 millimeter diameter pipe and uh, make that pipe a meter long and let's try to make some nice um, elements to capture the wall so the first thing, 2D models must be sketched on the XY plane. And we're going to uh, draw on the positive Y side of the XY plane. So there's my 10 millimeter tall, one meter long pipe. And if I exit to 3D mode, that becomes a surface and I'm done constructing geometry in space claim. I need to refresh the project and then open up meshing and this is uh, the time where the geometry is pulled from space claim into meshing. And then in meshing I want to set the 2D behavior to axisymmetric and I will um, put some mesh controls on there to get smaller elements near the wall and smaller elements near the entrance where the uh, fluid uh, velocity is going to develop from uniform at the inlet to fully developed flow down the end. Uh, this is a laminar flow problem and uh, as you can see the geometry is already set to 2D so I can bring it in and open up meshing and uh, we'll put those mesh controls on. The, the other thing we'll do is name all the boundaries. And in mesh, you can name boundaries by clicking on the entity and hitting the uh, N key for named selection. So we'll name the boundaries inlet, outlet, wall, and axis for the axisymmetric model. So here's the... Um, model we'll uh, look down on it and hit F7 and then we're going to uh, let's name some boundaries first with the edge filter we'll click on here type the N key and say inlet click on the N key and type axis click on the N key and type wall and then we'll F7 to, to fit and pick this N key outlet. So there's the boundaries named and we will um, put some mesh controls on the tops and bottom. Control click the top and bottom and the um, element size it's a meter long. Um, let's make five millimeter long elements but put some bias on them so we can uh, bias them toward the front which is on the left side so we're going to reverse the bias on this one so the smaller elements are near the entrance and similarly we'll uh, create we'll duplicate this but pick the this edge f7 and hold the control key down to do this edge and apply that but this time we'll uh, 
skillet number of divisions and maybe put 10 elements across here and we'll uh, reverse this one edge and that's the wall at the top and this is the center axis axis let's check the other end and make sure the uh, yep so we can go ahead and mesh and that um, there's one other mesh control which is called um, face meshing that will force quadrilateral elements onto that so uh, that will uh, be perfect so now we've got the bigger elements at the back and the smaller elements at the front so this will be our model we're um, all done here because we'll assign the materials uh, influent so we can uh, close meshing and we'll update the mesh we want to see a green check mark on there before we open fluent so this I believe is the step where it um, brings the mesh into the next setup which is fluent then in fluent we're going to uh, edit the boundary conditions we can now double click that will both start fluent and refresh the model double precision and I've got two cores on this cell laptop so I will use them both um, and now fluent is starting and when it finishes starting we'll <coughs> go through and I think we'll like to work in the units of Celsius not Kelvin since that's the what the model is in so let's first go to the units when it finishes loading here and there's our mesh we're going to the units and temperature and I want to work in Celsius so now um, we need to turn energy on so we do that like that it's already a viscous model that's the only change we needed to make uh, the fluid here by default is air we're going to um, edit the boundary conditions in the inlet needs a velocity of um, Point three, and I just noticed uh, 2D space. We want to set the axisymmetric property. The wall, the outlet, is a pressure outlet, and there was some question about setting the temperature. You don't set the temperature of the outlet, but you can set the temperature of the black backflow. Any, material, any air that comes in from the back would be coming in at this temperature but we will have no backflow so it's not a problem um, and then the uh, wall of course we do need to set the temperature of that wall and that wall temperature is a temperature of 3 degrees and the momentum is uh, static stationary wall believe that's all the boundary conditions we need we want to do um, maybe some residuals and uh, it's always good to put a few extra zeros in here and initialization we will initialize with the um, inlet velocity so all the cells are now initialized and now we can go ahead and run calculations and if we run um, however many we need to get convergence we will uh, see what that looks like next And the energy is in blue so that's converged quite nicely 
and now continuity and velocities are converging. And we're done. Very nice. Let's go and have a look, quick look in here at the contour of temperature. And we want to do that on the surface. And we'll hopefully filled. We'll be good. Compute, display. And there is our. Um, well, I don't know how to get it filled, but if you go to CFD post, you can see it filled. So it's it's at uh, 20 degrees C at the inlet, and um, by the time we get to the outlet, it's at um, 3 degrees C, very much. So that is the demo. Um, we can close Fluent and when we do that we can open it up in CFD post and get a little nicer graphics there. 